Nearly three months ago, the first platoon of female recruits were brought in from around the country to test whether the Marines could train women in San Diego for the first time in Marine Corps Recruit Depot's 100-year history. Felicia Broughton was here to support her daughter, Reagan. I'm just happy. I'm proud. She finds the mold and she breaks it. So <laughs> this is perfect for her. She was majoring in mathematics in Arkansas, but dropped out to join the Marines. She was excelling, but she wasn't challenged enough and she wanted to be challenged. So this was a perfect opportunity for her. Not only did they win the final drill competition, but they also had the highest scores on the physical fitness and combat fitness tests. Emily Zamudio expects to join the infantry. She was here with her family. <laughs> Happy. It was all worth it. The Marines will now have to decide what to do next. Congress is requiring the Marines to end segregated boot camps. This first cycle is still a test. Senior drill instructor Amber Starosik says they made very few changes in San Diego to train this first class of women. As far as training goes, Nothing had to be altered for them, and that is the point that needs to be made. The training was the same. Normally, the new Marines get 10 days of leave after graduation. That leave is canceled due to COVID, so after a day of celebrating with their families, all of the 397 Marines who graduated Thursday will move on to additional training at Camp Pendleton, beginning tomorrow. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.